So here I have got some employee data and I've currently filtered it to gender is female. I would like to see what is the median and top three total salaries as well as the ages of the currently filtered employees. But unfortunately, the subtotal function doesn't really have a median functionality or any other way to get only top three values or bottom four values or something like that. So this is where we are going to use the map function. It's really cool. 50 Excel formulas in 50 days, day 33. So first we would like to figure out if a row in the table is currently filtered or not. The moment I filter down to female, then what I want is I want zeros where the row is filtered and one where it is shown on the screen. So, so to generate that kind of zeros or ones, we can use the map function like this. So we say map and we pick a column. So in the staff table, I'm going to pick the employee ID column. It doesn't really matter which column you pick. And then we are going to say lambda and this lambda takes a variable a, a would be the current value of these employee ID. So it will iterate for all the employee IDs. And then we pass that to subtotal and then say, hey, subtotal, can you do a count a? So the function number three on a value. And it will tell me right now, as I have not filtered anything, all the values will be one. But see what happens if I filter just the female employees, I'll have some zeros and some ones. So we'll say let and construct a local variable called is filtered. And this is map my employee ID column lambda a subtotal 3a. So this is going to give me all those zeros and ones. And then I'm going to generate another variable called filtered vals filter and whatever column we are interested in this case, I want to look at salaries is filtered. So this filtered val will be just these numbers that I'm currently seeing. I can pass this to the median function and then say, hey, median, give me the median of those filtered vals. Close all the brackets and we will get 49,200. We could do the same thing with top three values as well. I'm just going to copy some of this logic and then we're going to say, as we want to see the sum of top three values, sum of take sort filtered vals, sort the filtered vals in descending order and then take the three values and then sum it up. Close all the brackets and we'll get that. We can apply the same for age as well. How cool is this?